Good morning. I am having this press conference because there's been a lot of talk about the bees. I want to get out, get ahead before anybody else to strike first about the bees. So the initiative I'm taking that I'll be writing as soon as I leave here will be to close the borders so the bees cannot leave. I know that the bees have been a problem, but I am telling the American people that you don't need to worry. Just like, just like that, just like that, all of a sudden, maybe not, maybe so, but all of a sudden, any day, possibly, we'll have high numbers of bees. I, right now though, since done something that has never been done before, never has happened in my recollection and all the years since there's been a world. I have bees, yes. I have the bees and I hear them buzzing every morning when I go to the Rose Garden. People tell me, you know, I have many people try to tell me, don't let those bees be in the flower garden. If some, they really didn't want it. Good people, smart people, people, people all kinds of people because I meet a lot of people. And people told me it's a waste of time uh, to pay any attention to the bees. But I went against them. Yes, I did. I went against them and kept the roses. And, and I knew. I just knew. Some people say I should have a PhD in science, biology, chemistry, taxonomy, whatever, because I alone, I alone know about the bees and can save the bees and make America great again. There's bees, bees, bees. You can hear the bees. Hear those bees? Never before. Never before. I, nobody that has been before me has ever had so many bees. I am making America great again. And it starts with the bees. You know, people don't care these days like I care. I care because I'm intelligent. And as my wife says, stop bullying the bees. We need the bees. I heard talk, a lot of talk. It's been talk. Everywhere you turn, there's talk that the bees are, are dying and if we don't pay attention and make a habitat for bees, we're just going to be in trouble because I think what they say is, y'all correct me if I'm wrong, correct me if I'm wrong, but because they pollinate plants. Yeah, yeah. I, knew, I didn't know that till now. Now I know that. And now I can tell you all so you can know because y'all didn't know until I knew. The bees pollinate some parts of, of a plant which make it grow. And I'm all for that. I, I'm for that. Maybe it works, maybe it don't work. Who's to say? It could work. Mm, not sure it worked, but possibly. It, it could work and the bees actually help us to have plants, but you know, I was thinking, and I'll have to check with scientists, but I was just thinking, we need to make a home some kind of home that's never been done, never, and let the bees live in the home and kind of maybe put somebody over it to tend the bees. I don't know, I don't know. What do y'all think? You think that'll work or keep them in your house? Yeah, we can go a step further and designate a room in our homes for bees because they're so important. But I want you all to know fake news, fake news ran out there, ran out there, you know who your ugly self is.
are telling y'all lies that I don't have the bees, that the bees are gone. They will do anything to ruin my election. They said I got bees from China, Russia. No, no, fake news, fake news. Listen to me about the bees. I promise you, if you elect me 2020, you have more bees than you know. Bees will be ever bees, 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 bees. I'll give you the bees and like never before. I, I'm serious. I don't think anyone before could give you bees on demand. So I have done more for the bee population since I've been president. And I, I'm saying, just take a chance with me on the bees because, hey, you, it, it, hey. You have nothing to lose. You have nothing to lose. So I've created a task force that will help, I guess, red states develop their own bees. I'm not gonna fool with the blue states. You know, they're so ungrateful. They'll use the bees against me. They'll say, you gave me the worst bees. And so I'm not letting them say, I'm gonna cut them off. I, I, I've cut them off several times, and I'm cutting them off with the bees, you know. I work hard. It's Russia, 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 China, China, China. Now bees, bees, bees. And like I said, we have record numbers. Record numbers. Probably record numbers since the Garden of Eden. So I make America great on my own. No help make decisions, people be against me, fake news, always twisting stuff. But you better believe the bee population is gonna come to an astonishing number that's never been seen before in this lifetime, probably ever, probably ever, never have numbers like these. So I just want the American people to know I am on this bee situation I'm closing the border so the bees that are around here will not leave. I probably get with some of the scientists. I probably see work with some scientists, some bee scientists. The bee, we're gonna get some bee specialist scientists to try to build those maybe little apartments. Ha! <laughs> little apartments. That's what it would be. Little apartments for the bees to be cared for. But you can hear the buzz, 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 buzz everywhere. I love the bees. Me and the bees have gone back a long time. I'm happy with the bees. Bees love me. They just love me. I can go out and probably shoot a flower and the bees will still love me. And I'm so healthy now because of the bees. I'm not taking any questions because you, your media is going to turn it against me. Fake news, fake news, fake news. But I can guarantee as soon as I'm up at 1 o'clock in the morning, in the afternoon, I'm out there visiting the bees, asking what I can do for them, looking for improvement. I don't get up early so the bees don't kind of be out at noon. But the few I talk to have told me, pretty important bees. If I called their names, you would know who they were. Some important bees have said, you're doing the right thing. No one has ever done this for us before. All right. No more questions. No more questions. I don't like women. Don't be asking me anything. You're too smart already. Look it up, people. Look it up. Don't be looking at fake stuff. Only look at Fox News. Bye.